Trading Monkey. This is going to be a real quick video about TradeNet versus SureTrader Review 2018. Not really a versus, just a side by side comparison. With TradeNet all over YouTube lately, I figured I might as well make this video. So let's get right to it. For TradeNet, the lowest money you can spend to open an account with TradeNet is $500. The minimum amount on SureTrader you can open an account with is $500. Now let's move on to the monthly platform fee. And for TradeNet, it's $15 a month. For SureTrader, with Level 2 and all that, it is $104 a month. So quite a price gap there, but I think it's worth it. The buying power. So when you enter into TradeNet, 500 bucks, you get buying power $14,000 you can spend towards any stock that is tradable on TradeNet. With SureTrader, you have 500 bucks, you get 6 to 1 margin, and that is $3,000. So there's the side-by-side -side comparison on that. Now let's look at the cost of really doing business, of buying your shares and selling your shares. For TradeNet, it's $1.50 to buy your shares, and then it's $1.50 to get out of that trade. So a total of $3. If you look over at SureTrader, it's $4.95 to buy some shares, and $4.95 to get out. So close to $10 there. So $3, $10, you can make the side-by-side -side comparison. So the next thing is a lot of stocks on TradeNet are not tradable, but the stocks that are tradable are shortable. Any stock on TradeNet that you can trade is shortable, which is a great thing if you are more of a short bias trader. Let's look over at SureTrader. Every stock is tradable on SureTrader. They're not going to cut you out of any stock. Any stock you want to trade, you can trade. But the trade-off for that is not all stocks are shortable. So that moves on to the market hours. When you're with TradeNet, you cannot trade in the pre-market. With SureTrader... You can trade in the pre-market starting at 8 a.m. in the morning. You can start trading, which is a definite benefit. And a lot, the next thing on this, on TradeNet and SureTrader, is a lot of people go to these two, or there's a few others probably, because of, there's a thing called the PDT rule. If you do not have $25,000 in your account, you cannot make more than three trades per week, which puts a damper on your trading and you will never probably really make it work unless you're a swing or a long-term trader. But with TradeNet, they're not located, I believe, in the United States, so there is no PDT rule. And with SureTrader, they're not located in the United States. So there is also no PDT rule. So definite pluses for these two. So with TradeNet, when you buy a $500 account, there is, when if you lose $700, bucks, you are done. They shut your account down, you are done. You can't pay $500 bucks and start over again you got to move up to the next size account which i believe is three thousand dollars with sure trader if you lose your 500 bucks you can put more money and put another 500 in another 500 until hopefully you are a profitable trader in the market now let's talk about if you are a profitable trader and you want to cash out of your account. You've made a thousand bucks or something and you want to cash out with TradeNet. You get to keep 70% of that, but the owner of TradeNet gets to keep the other 30%. With SureTrader, you win a thousand bucks. Your money is your money. You're cashing it out minus the fees. So there you go. You can look right there. Boom, 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 boom and do a side-by-side -side comparison 
Okay, now let's look at an example. So a trade net, the dollar fifty to buy your shares, a dollar fifty out. <clears throat> so each trade is basically three dollars. If you're making one trade for every thirty days, that equals ninety dollars in commissions you're paying. So if you made a thousand dollars for thirty day in thirty days. First off, you got to take your 70-30 split with TradeNet, so you're down to 700 bucks, And then subtract the commissions you made off that $1,000, and you're actually taking home $610. Now let's look over at SureTrader. SureTrader is $4.95 to get in and $4.95 out, so that equals $9.90 per trade. So the same example, you're taking one trade a day for 30 days. That's $297 in commissions. Let's say you made the same thousand bucks in 30 days, but there is no split with SureTrader. You're taking home every cent you make. So that's $1,000 minus your commissions. So at the end of the month, you would be taking home $703 take home compared to six hundred and ten dollars take home from trade net that is pretty uh significant example right there but that's just one example maybe if you played them out different it would be different but this is what you see right here so trade net versus sure trader who am i to say trade net is actually a cfd your shares are not actually being bought and sold on the open market. TradeNet handles all that and they do it within their little programming there. So if you really wanted to learn about the actual market slippage and all that, you would probably want to actually enter the market instead of doing CFDs. Because if you start winning on CFDs, they're going to eventually kick you to the real market and then you'll be thinking everything's the same when it's actually not but who am i to say you make the call it's great for practice who knows i may even do a trade net account one day but if you're going to practice why not just do a paper trading account where you don't have to pay nobody and you can get the same type of fills and exits without paying nobody and then when you're ready to enter the market, hit a broker that actually puts your shares out there. Well, thanks for joining me.